the reading is Patreon. Here is your monthly reading. Oh, oh. who is this under here? Mm -mm. At the Empress. All right, Patreon monthly reading for October 2023. Today is the 5th. All right, let's get your monthly reading out. Somebody got somebody coming back with some communication. Somebody's taking action. Emperor, somebody may be getting a communication on a boss position. You guys could got some clarity. All right, you guys are foreseeing the future here. Four of Wands. Uh-oh, y'all emperor wants marriage, wants a union. Y'all could have somebody coming back. Yep, somebody's planning to come towards y'all with some communication. Being proactive here, the month of October. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, that's right. Last night, we got reversals. Somebody feels... Somebody doesn't uh, have any strength or courage or confidence that they're going to be able to pull some two of cups off. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot, y'all, that I had these in reverse from last night. And I said, I think I'm going to leave them like that. All right. So, we got reversals today for y'all monthly in October. I don't think I've ever did any reversals for Patreon. So, you guys got somebody that feels low self-esteem, low courage. Th there's an ending to some type of confusion, some betrayal here. Somebody may have found out. All right, Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, your Empress Venus here. You guys, ooh, look at y'all right above each other. The Emperor and the Empress. You guys are fighting it out. You're giving up fighting about something. You guys are acting in your ego here. Yep, things are not moving forward, being a little self. Look at there. Be be oh, my God. Being a little selfish here. What's coming out? Yep, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep, hey man, not wanting to change perception here. Uh-oh, higher level of commitment coming in. Somebody want to work something out. There's the Empress right there. I mean, not the Empress, the High Priestess. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, y'all could have been definitely very intuitive, a divine couple, but there's definitely some ego here in the way. All right, we're moving things forward here. Let's see who we got here. Look at that, love birds. <laughs> Look at there. Queen of Pinnacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody's investing in their work here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Their happiness. All right. With the Ten of Cups, with the, with the Queen of Pinnacle, with the heartbreak. Somebody's holding in some type of pain. All right. That y'all need to release. All right. It's coming to an end. A third party situation. You guys could be trying to work something out. Yep. You guys are deciding to move forward. Somebody's been lying, spying. Somebody's been deceptive. In this, re in this union, like y'all know somebody is hiding something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, y'all got some people really, really stabbed y'all in the back here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's trying to call some type of, pa oh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's giving up some options, choices. Somebody's ready to come forward. Somebody's been resisting. Yep, an apology. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's been fighting back, baby. Fighting back. Where's my little bitty cards? Over oh, here. Let's get y'all some clarification for Patreon. Y'all could be dealing with a queen of sword. Gemini, the Aquarius. Somebody has been staying up all night. All right. Somebody is in your head. Fred and Frida. Yep. King of Pinnacle. Tars Capcom Virgo. Over some type of business. Over some type of leadership or position of leadership. Yep. Eight of sword. Gemini, the Aquarius. Somebody could feel trapped. Somebody's coming toward y'all. Let's clarify these spirit for Patreon. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is your October monthly. And I'm going to be doing some extendeds for the earth sign, fire sign, and water sign. Ping-ponging off of the YouTube channel, Kim Arts. So go see that reading, the uh, weekly readings for earth, fire, and water. And then I will be doing the uh, extended. Yep, Gemini, Eve Aquarius, somebody coming back. There's new com compassion there. There's a Ten of Pentacles, Tars, Capricorn, Virgo. So y'all got somebody want to come towards y'all and take some type of action. They want a new beginning, all right? Again, with the Ten of Pentacles, Tars, Capricorn, Virgo. So y'all got something very big that is about to pay off and bring y'all some stability and happiness. All right, Ace of Wands, new. Ace of Sword, new. Okay, let's go. Clarify spirit. Five of Pentacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Y'all got somebody coming back from the past, all right, in scarcity, may need y'all help. Y'all may be getting some type of communication. 
Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Y'all could be trying to make a decision to come out of this Five of Pentacles energy. Info, y'all person could be definitely an Aries or a Sagittarius is ready to open up. Somebody's ready to come towards y'all. All right, balance the situation out. Somebody's having a tough time financially here. That's what that's what they could be hiding right there on the top with the work under the bottom. Four of Wands. Yep, somebody's feeling sad and lost about a family matter. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, depressed. Y'all could be in separation. Somebody could be making some type of plan about their future. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, turning things around. Somebody's focusing on their destiny and fate and which direction they want this to go in. Three of Wands. You got Leo in reverse. Yep, four swords. You're not even curious. Somebody feels exhausted. Somebody feels tired. Somebody feels stressed. Somebody's in their ego. Jim Riley McCreary is being stubborn, possibly. Two of Cups needing to talk about, look at it, that Three of Wands, where this is going. Oops. Somebody could be calling it an ending. I'm saying Scorpio. Somebody could be making plans for the future. Somebody could be thinking about coming heart to heart, face to face with y'all to discuss moving forward here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Making some type of arrangement. Five of Wands, the conflict is over. The competition is over here. Somebody's giving up with the Five of Wands. Yep, there's a celebration. There, the blockages have been, excuse me, I'm hicc hiccuping. The blockages have been removed. Five of Wands in reverse with the Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Separation. So somebody's definitely coming together. You got the Empress with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, you got the Empress. Some of y'all could be having a choice of three people, two people. All right, Empress energy coming in. And I say Scorpio, I saw the death card. Y'all opposite attract. So there's definitely somebody, there's something that's about to come to an end, or this is somebody that's moving on, ending some cycle. All right, the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, yep, not talking, not speaking. Y'all may cut this person out of y'all life. Y'all may decide, Empress, to end this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because y'all are tired of fighting. Y'all are tired of this betrayal. Y'all are tired of this, this deception. So Libra season, there will be some restored balance here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, y'all may come to realize some stuff. Look at that. That's a lot of negativity that this person is karmic. I'm seeing Capricorn. So again, y'all are releasing the King of Wands as the Empress. I may be putting this on my damn YouTube channel. All right. Again, hangman. Yep, stars are aligning. You guys are releasing something. You guys are seeing, you guys are envisioning your wish fulfillment and what y'all truly want in a relationship. So you guys are releasing something that you no longer want anymore, which could be the relationship with the King of Wands. You guys are in no contact. You guys are about to make a tough decision. You guys are choosing your wish fulfillment, your happiness, all right? So let's go here, and we'll, we'll go here. Okay, so the Ten of Cups clarified the Queen of Wands. So this is definitely somebody, y'all, that is very jealous and envious of y'all happiness. For some of you guys, you could be going after your happiness. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles, your business, focusing your attention. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, heavy, 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 oh God, heavy boss energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, you guys are in your element, handling your business, going after things that you're passionate at, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, y'all could have this jealous Queen of Wands looking at y'all, you know, again, you could be a family member, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this could definitely be a same sex for some of y'all. And again, somebody's focusing on the burdens of this three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're keeping something in. Clarified, yep, jealousy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is a family member or somebody y'all consider very close. You could have been best friends or you could have been family member. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And somebody is jealous and envious of y'all ability to manifest and also to stay focused on your own work and mind your damn business. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look at there. Bam, somebody's struggling yeah, somebody's in a struggle here. Yep, look at that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is jealous and envious of y'all ability to stay quiet. You guys could feel stuck or trapped. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, again, you got a lover card here. Gemini, you got juggling. So this is somebody that could have been juggling and multiple lovers. All right. Y'all could be trying to balance out things. Y'all could be separated from your lover. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, y'all could have a Knight of Wands coming toward y'all. All right, y'all could definitely be dealing. You could be dealing with with the Knight of Wands. You guys could be dealing with uh, a Leo, a Virgo, or a Cancer coming toward y'all. Higher level love commitment. All right. Uh, does it. Let's see what else is going on. Spirit, what's coming in the immediate future? The immediate future with this situation. So there is multiple people here. Yep, courage and confidence. Y'all getting y'all courage and confidence to step up. At least we got Leo turned right back upside. Yep, there's, dang, three queen of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Heavy business. You guys could definitely be in, yep, you guys got great strength and courage. You guys are strong, you know, brave. You guys are staying balanced, staying focused on your goal, on your task. You're taming that ego, beauty and the beast and the beastly beauty. There's that ten of cups with that queen of, of wands, Aries, Neo, Sagittarius. So this is definitely y'all, look at there, five of pentacles. In the, in the past, look at there, the same cards out, the Hierophant and the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is somebody that y'all are choosing to stay away from. All right, y'all could be choosing to cut ties with this. Go on your higher self. And there's your ten of wands. There's your five of sword. Five, not five of sword. Five of sword right there. Five of pinnacle. Five of pinnacle over the lover. Somebody that y'all been struggling to come together. Y'all been distant. Distant lovers could be possible here for some of you guys. The distant lover could be coming towards y'all now. Yep. Knight of pinnacle. Charles Capcom Virgo. Somebody's making a decision to come towards y'all in the immediate future. To give that Knight of Pentacle, yep, after this conflict, after this is resolved, putting this behind, getting a victory and success, a great achievement here. A battle, fight, fighting a battle here, getting victory over a battle. Bam! Four of Wands. Somebody wants happiness. Somebody's about to make up their mind to come towards y'all and give y'all a proposal. Somebody wants to marry y'all. Somebody want to get engaged. Somebody could be buying their first house here. Charles Capcom Virgo or a home, some relationship could be coming back into balance and is positive. Somebody's jealous here at one, two, two, two on the clock. You guys got a cancer or a family member, King of Pinnacle. Somebody's very angry. Somebody's watching y'all at night. This could be a business person, Charles Capcom Virgo. Somebody's jealous because y'all got multiple offers coming in. Yep. Y'all got, look at there, all those opportunities. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's jealous. Look at there. Baby, spirit is calling judgment on this person. Y'all could be dealing with a family member, home and family, a mother figure. Some hidden emotions are coming out. Some outbursts, probably some arguing. All right, Pisces, Cancer, you got Gemini, you got Archangel Gabriel. Somebody's facing judgment in y'all family. Ooh, spirit is on somebody's ass. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah. Somebody is, look at there, somebody needs to make a decision. Somebody stay in balance. Y'all waiting on divine timing. Let's see, Spirit, what else is coming in the immediate future here? Yep, Hangman again. Hangman right here in the same spot. You guys are definitely releasing something that y'all been holding in. You guys are verbalizing, taking action, releasing something, cutting cords here. Yeah, look, somebody is jealous because y'all getting everything y'all ever asked for and wished for. Taurus, there's Venus, envy, jealousy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Knight of Sword. It could be definitely somebody returning. Look at there, y'all staying balanced, staying committed. You guys are divinely guided and protected. Archangel Michael is watching over y'all. Boy, y'all got some help. <sighs> Shoot. Look at there. Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all could be broken over a family, could be a karmic situation. Some abundance is coming. You guys are about to get. Y'all about to find out who's lying and being deceptive around y'all. Things about to get heated. Things about to come out into the open. Yep. Again, Gemini and Aquarius could be involved in work. Some of you guys could be relocating, moving forward. Yep. Leveling up, releasing any type of illusion. Yep. Around a new start. Y'all about to get a new start. That was an ace one twice. So again, yeah, y'all about to get some good news. So some of you guys are seeing things from a different light. You guys are different point of view. You guys are releasing attachment. You guys are not holding in your emotions. Like I said, it could be an outburst. Oh, dang, a card over here. Didn't even know it. Ah, the Empress. I just looked over there and saw the Empress. You guys are Taurus, Empress, Venus. Wow. You got, oh, 
Dang, I didn't even see that card over there. Okay, spirit. Okay, spirit. Okay. Spirit doing something. What else, spirit, for the collective monthly? October 2023 for Patreon. All right, let's see what else is going toward y'all. What else is coming toward y'all this month of October 2023? Energy. You guys are about to gain a lot of energy. Things are about to get, you know, very passionate. If y'all been low in energy with that strength card in reverse, it's about to come back. You guys, is whatever y'all put out in the universe is about to come back abundantly. You guys have been, yes, yeah, stay in balance. You guys got a lot of green coming, a lot of abundance coming, a lot of money and wealth. Yep, abundance, Ganesh, look at there, passion. So you guys got energy, money coming, passion. You guys are passionate about getting that bag <laughs> with that three queen of pinnacles we just saw and that empress over there hiding over there on top of the deck. Yep, determined. You guys were determined. Look at there to be successful, and it is now coming in. Look at that. We got the green light, the yellow light, and the red light, baby, making the orange light. It's time to go. You look at there. Success is here. All right. It feels so amazing to be successful. Stop. Y'all got some protection. So somebody, yep, yeah, y'all divinely guided and protected. This is a success. Yeah. Y'all success is divinely guided and protection. Y'all determined somebody was trying to stop y'all or hinder y'all, but y'all got divine protection. Who is there? Is that fear? Scorpio? Yep. Y'all can be dealing with a Scorpio. And Scorpio came out somewhere up under there. All right, you guys have been dealing with on top of Venus up under there. Yeah, that's where it was at. Right there, Scorpio and the Empress. And there's the Empress that. So y'all definitely in the Empress energy cleansing. Y'all can need to do a cleanse, a water fast, or just take a spiritual bath. Yep, ideations. Look at that balance coming into whatever y'all been dreaming about, manifesting. Y'all could have been on the Seven of Wands, an illusion, love bombing. Y'all surrender to the divine. Y'all consciousness, you guys are listening more. Things are clearing up. All right, there's no scarcity. Yep, reflecting, past pain, healing some uh, trauma from the past, rooted with some financial scarcity, scarcity or lack issues here. Yep, caution, be caution about your finances. Stay calm so you don't get anxiety. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. And we got creativity and sweetness. Ooh, and right on the Empress. You guys are tapping into your creative uh, resourceful well of abundance. So there's going to be a lot of sweet creativity coming through. All right, with y'all, purple and pink could be your color for this month. Passion. Ooh, passion. Yep, there it is. Y'all could be passionate about your creativity. Some sweet things are coming to y'all. Anxiety is leaving. You guys have moved on, released it. Wow. And y'all are strongly confident because y'all are going to be able to now see movement and growth in the right direction, in the right places, in your areas of your life. So things are starting to come full. Things are starting to flower. Things are starting to grow for you guys. Could be doing Jupiter here. Yeah, consciousness. You guys created from a, a dark place consciousness things came for y'all watered it magnitude right intuition trust into the divine surrendering to the divine and bam peace that passes all in a standing y'all and what is on the top love so some of y'all may be catching a love bug yep it's time for y'all to come out of isolation y'all are protected so y'all is about to come into some love trusted you guys are divinely guided and protected by the Most High. So you guys can definitely open your heart to love. All right. Come out of isolation, out of Virgo. Illumination. Your path is about to be illuminated. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do that cleanse. Do that cleanse. Y'all can do that cleanse. All right. Ooh. Clear the palate of the sweets. Do the cleanse. Or do the shuffle. No, I'm just saying. What else, spirit, we got? Pop up later, y'all. Pop up between two and four, somewhere up in there. Okay, let's see what else we got for y'all. Ooh, yep, walking away. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Eight of Cups. You guys are going to be following your own intuition. You guys could be being led. You guys are coming out of Virgo energy. You guys are saying goodbye to the past and moving on. Yep, Earth Angel. Look at that abundance. Look at that victory and success coming out of there for the Empress Taurus Venus here, the Earth Angel. You guys walked away. You guys definitely escaped. All right, again, yep, victory and success. You're dealing with a Leo. Y'all got victory and success, success, and staying emotionally balanced, committed. All right, being an Earth Angel, commit, commitment. There's the uh, abundance card. So there's Ganesh. There's the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you guys are definitely getting some blessings. Yep, here comes romance. And somebody is jealous because y'all got victory and success. They couldn't keep y'all trapped. All right, from opening, they look at there. They were jealous. They were trying to hurt y'all. They were trying to make sure y'all didn't find love. That's the five of swords right there. Gemini and Aquarius, somebody envious and jealous of y'all. They wanted to keep y'all stuck and couldn't. Y'all, look at there. Rose from that. Look at that scarcity act. That scarcity uh, energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Look at that and got clarity with that five of swords. I mean, with that five of pentacle, that ace of swords, the lover card, the five of pentacle. And the juggling. You guys are nine of pentacle. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, pre-empress energy. You guys are single, open, and ready for love. Ooh. Look at there. Bam. You guys. Huh. Wow. What? Chamel. All tied up. Y'all. Oh, look at there. Y'all freed yourself from the eight of swords. Gemini, of Aquarius. Yep. Y'all got free. Y'all freed y'all creativity. Somebody was trying to block y'all creativity. Somebody was trying to keep y'all from coming together with your soulmate or with your person here. Yep, angel of balance. Y'all stayed balanced. See, y'all stayed balanced. Angel of balance. Ain't look there. And then victory and success. Earth angel, master number thirty-three. And look at there. Somebody's jealous. Knight of swords. Knight of swords right here. Yep, queen of pentacles four times. Y'all finna be stable, grounded, practical. Y'all are about to be rich and wealthy. Y'all about to have so many doors open for y'all that you're going to be able to choose what you want. I mean, opportunities after opportunities. Queen of Pentacles showing up four times. That is stability. At 2-2-2 two, two, two on my clock and 22-22 twenty, two, twenty, two on my clock. You got, look at there, the sun. Stability. That's confirmation. Y'all about to have a glow-up season. Y'all, look at there. Y'all could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, sun. Y'all about to have some abundance. And look at that. It's being protected by Archangel Michael. Y'all are one of Archangel Michael's children here. Protecting y'all foundation. Look at there. And the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody is definitely coming towards y'all. Power couple is coming towards y'all. Here's the King of Pentacles right here in the deck twice as well. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Y'all got some action. Y'all balance each other out. Y'all could be a boss, Queen of Pentacles or boss, King of Pentacles. And you guys are stable. Somebody got anxiety. <laughs> Somebody going through it. Somebody's on dark, the dark side. Yep, look at there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's on the dark side. Queen of Swords. Courage and confidence. Somebody don't have courage and confidence. They could be jealous of y'all's courage and confidence to go after generational wealth and abundance. Yep, and abundance and a commitment. You guys are not scared. You guys are going on a new journey, new fool's journey. Y'all made a decision. Could be the end of divorce. Okay, some of you guys are coming in. The things are going to start coming into balance. Y'all can be dealing with the truth for what it is, right? Seeing things for what they are. Yep. Cycle close. What we got here, Archangel, look at it, Archangel Chumel and Ariel. That's the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. So feminine and masculine energy, balance, reciprocity. Yep. Creativity, sexuality. You guys are opening up to love. Yep, journaling, manifesting, affirmations. Yep, Chamel coming in here and the goddess. And like I said, you guys are opening up to love. You guys are manifesting, working with your chakras, working with your archangels. Yep, y'all the empress, y'all the earth angel, Taurus, Venus. Yep, you guys are liberating yourself. All right. Ooh, wait. Dang, spirit. Yep, divine timing. Sagittarius, divine masculine. You guys are ready to open up, recovering the mask, removing the mask. Look at their cornucopia. That person's jealous because y'all got a harvest coming in. <laughs> y'all, this is funny. When people be mad because y'all done did the damn work, what the hell they expect? <laughs> like, I don't know what else they think they're going to get. 
Look at there, right under the five of wands, right? But there's a card left. Three of swords. Somebody heartbroken. Y'all competition is heartbroken. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Look at there. Because y'all like, bitch, I ain't got time for this bullshit. Fight with your damn self, stupid. Stupid is the stupid does. Leave them clowns to do be, be a clown in their own goddamn circus by themselves. Somebody is sick. Okay, this is somebody fucking sick. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't got shit else to do. Look at there. It's the end, baby. Somebody, somebody could be uh, ending a cycle. Look at there. Miserable. Misery loves company. Struggling with look, scarcity. Poverty. That's that five of pinnacle. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is somebody feeling down and out. Despair. Poverty mindset. Lack, scarcity mindset. Look at their over a house. Somebody's in despair. They may lose a house. Somebody could be worrying about losing their house. Losing their wife. Ooh. Or their ex or something. I don't know what the hell. Look at their courtship. Poverty. What? Told y'all. Somebody is mad. Somebody, somebody is sad about losing their opportunity that they could have had. For a courtship with some of you guys. Could have been y'all ex wanting to come back. Or somebody y'all once knew. Yep. Occupation, bad health. Somebody could be in sadness because they can't work anymore. Got a courtship coming in 420, which that's my birthday. I got five on it. Hey, 920, 94, 49, 420. Y'all got a change coming in a relationship. Wow. Yep, look at there, mature woman. You guys have evolved. 6'4, six, 6'9, six, 6'20. Y'all can be dealing with a Gemini Cusper, Taurus Gemini. Look at that wedding coming in, 320. Somebody got a marriage. Yep, main man. Somebody's concerned. Yep, yep. Wealthy man coming in. Y'all saw that, didn't you? Bam, look at that community. Look at the jackpot. Things about to start getting really exciting. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. What? What? Look how that card turned around. Y'all. What? Great fortune and destiny. Wow. That was amazing. I, look, I don't even think I've seen that before. Now I'm going to move this back so y'all can see. Y'all see her right there, right? Y'all see her, see these cards jumped here. She jumped right here. So there's the Queen of Wands with the, the it's a family member. It's somebody y'all, like I said, it could be same sex for some of y'all or not, but or bestie, Pisces, Cancer, or somebody y'all consider family, close like family. Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, false person. Look at there, right over the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, trying to stop y'all business, trying to stop what y'all working on. And look, here it is, look. Did not say family, family room, communication, poverty, toil and labor. This is somebody in y'all family. This is somebody y'all know or somebody y'all consider a best friend. Could be a friend of the family. Could be your best buddy, homeboy, or a friend of y'all homeboy, family, or something like that. So there's definitely some communication coming out in a private setting. And again, uh, toil and labor. So this is definitely, look at there, and there's the wedding, there's the main man. We already saw that great fortune behind that main, that main woman. And there's y'all ace of wand. Ooh. Golly, y'all. Go I'm like going foul. Golly. Yeah, somebody definitely trying to stab y'all in the back, whoever y'all false person is. They could be a queen of pinnacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, somebody y'all work with. It definitely could be family. It don't have to be, but it can be somebody y'all consider close. It could be some in-laws. It could be some exes. It could be some sisters-in-law, some brothers-in-law. Y'all put it wherever the hell y'all want to put it. But I'm just letting y'all know. Motherfucker close. Let's see what's going on with this. Not today. And, and uh, heart with the key. So y'all definitely got somebody that is ready to give y'all give y'all the heart. Just like I mean, open their heart. Y'all got the key to their heart. Ten of cups. Ten of cups there. We already saw ten of pentacles. Oh. 
Separation in reverse. So y'all definitely is coming out of separation. So somebody is definitely coming towards y'all. Yep, look at that rising of the phoenix. Y'all have changed. Y'all have elevated. You guys have transcended here. Ooh, wait. This is deep. October is going to be very deep for some of y'all. All right, talking, texting, hoovering over their mail. They could be reading old messages y'all sent. All right, fantasizing or reminiscing. Golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yep, look at their paradise. Wow. We got a solar eclipse on the 14th. I think a full moon in Taurus. Girl talk uh, with friends, moving on, single, living in the moment, having fun. So you guys are about to get back out there, have some fun, maybe date. Love is calling y'all. Mm -hmm. So y'all ready to open y'all heart for something new. Yep, somebody's angry, not today. All right, yep, they're still angry at y'all for leaving. Yep, your third party is. Whoever that person is. Like I said, it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a fire sign. Time has run out. Yep. Time has run out on that person. Yep. Coffee. Y'all could have met this person at a coffee date. Meeting or conversing, savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. Go out for a cup of coffee. Somebody watching y'all. Woo. Healing heart. Look at there. This person refused to heal. This person refused to heal. Didn't want to heal themselves. Very toxic addiction. This could definitely be a Capricorn with that addiction with the devil card. And I said Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a fire sign. This is somebody that got a addiction. Yep. Sunglasses. They could be spying on y'all, watching y'all. Looking, watching, stalking, gaslighting, faking, giving y'all fake love, fake admiration. Let's see. Yep. Stabbed in the back. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heartbroke, pain. Heartbreak, pain separation right and then deception shocking attack so this is somebody that has stabbed y'all in the back all right yep keys on a ring gambling one night stand this is somebody also could be off ex lover too that had multiple lovers and y'all won't take them back and they're mad because y'all moving on to bigger better love and, and bigger better things yep because y'all uncovered who it was somebody was being false around y'all love calls now showing true feelings, hide, persona, pretend, delude, gaslight, butterfly, heartbroken. Y'all ready to heal from this, release any heartbreak that y'all been holding on to with this eight of sword, this ten of wands, this five of sword, and that three of sword and release it. Yep, sell on, sell, sell on, move on. Girl with the snake. Girl with the snake. Look at there, empath, narcissist, per diem. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Put up y'all boundaries. Protect y'all heart. Look at there. Somebody definitely looking at y'all pictures. Like I said, this could be a same sex for some of y'all. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception. Learn from the past. Making memories. So this somebody spying on y'all. All right. Looking at y'all photos. Look. They got a gambling addiction. You know, could have a gambling addiction. Yep, palm trees. They could be from California or live where palm trees from Florida. Healthy choices. Could be Florida, wherever palm trees are planted. You know, Bahamas, Jamaica, uh, overseas. Look at their wedding ring. So somebody about to get married. Eternal love. What? Keys on the ring. One night stand. Y'all could have a one night stand, one, one meeting, counter, axe. Cut their ass out. Cause cut their ass out and move on. Because this person is stabbing y'all in the back. Yep, time for y'all to move on and let that person go. I feel like that Scorpio, that coffin card is going to come out. That's saying it's the end. What? Karmic relationship. Yep, because y'all, after y'all release this one and move on, y'all about to get y'all person. Wedding rings and Cupid is coming in after y'all release and cut the cord to this karmic person here. Cut ties to this karmic person. Yep, let them go. Move on. Karmic relationship. Look, time has ran out. And Spirit said that was the truth. Because there's the ace of sword right there for truth and clarity. Truth, Ruth, time has run out. Cut that damn cord to that karmic. And that's a lesson that y'all just had to learn. Gemini and Aquarius. Yep, they are running. Look at it. I say the coffin. I said that that was the motherfucking coffin. And soon y'all cut that motherfucking cord. That motherfucker gonna try to come they bitch ass back up in there and try to get some act right. 
Y'all can be dealing with a runner. Y'all can be dealing with a runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to the ego. So look, karmic could be uh, the knight of wands or the knight of sword. Coffin is over. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So it is over. And look at there. Once y'all end it with that karmic attachment, your soulmate is going to show up. Damn. I got to put this bitch on my YouTube because this is some motherfucking something. Look, I just, I'm not going to put nothing else on my, uh, for my Patreon on my uh, YouTube. But this, I'm going to have to because y'all need to see this shit right here. God damn. Soulmate coming in. Look at that. Y'all about to be in paradise with your soulmate. Happily ever after. Happy life. Happy wife. Happy hubby. Happy wifey. Yep, look at there. Grim Reaper. Look, can't even make it. I said Scorpio in the coffin. And there it is right there. Because y'all got to transform. Y'all got to grow and evolve and close out an old cycle with a karmic relationship that was codependent with running and chasing, dynamic, empath, and uh, narcissist relationship. And once y'all do, the real thing comes in. Yep, the real thing comes in. Because look, this person betrayed y'all and spirit is like, nope. You ain't taking that motherfucker back. We've been getting this for the last couple of weeks. Look at there. Time for y'all to resurrect. Time for y'all to revive yourself. Rise like the phoenix out of the ashes. Free yourself. Liberate yourself. Look, because they were playing games. They were playing motherfucking games with y'all. That's fucking sad. That's a motherfucker right there. They deserve what they fucking get, bitch ass. Okay, y'all said it. Bye.